welcome back to my channel folks and today i'm doing freeze dried cheesy macaroni made by the company ready wise this is not sponsored by the way even though this is the second time i've had their brand on my channel for those of you that were with me from the very beginning one of my first videos i did a video which actually offered a free Y sample wise freeze dried foods is now ready wise and unfortunately they no longer give out free samples but they do give out a sampler pack which has this version of cheesy macaroni and several other brands along with it as a sample that you can try also I want to give love to all those that have gone through all these hurricanes and um, it's so sad they're, they're, they're losing everything they got with this weather we're having and in times like that it's good to have something like this because companies like ReadyWise do offer 72 48 hour 24 hour food kits that's freeze dried and sometimes they're waterproof this one I'm not sure if this one is waterproof but in times like this with stuff going on you might want to start investing in things like that because no matter what happens you'll still have some food let's give it a try it tells you to boil four cups of water add the contents of the pouch into the boiling water and stir cover turn off the heat let stand for 12 to 15 minutes stirring occasionally and it says cool uncovered for two to three minutes before serving one thing I always like to be sure is you go ahead and check out the nutrition facts there just in case this is not something you can hang with and also like the last product I had made by wise or ready wise this is produced on equipment that also processes milk soy wheat egg and tree nuts so if you have an allergy this not this not the product for you okay as you can see I got my water boiling in the pot is it gonna look like store-bought mac and cheese or is it gonna look like a hot mess again this is not sponsored sponsor me ready wise this is video number two hint hint okay so while that's boiling per the instructions and you always want to remember this remove oxygen absorption prior to preparation I'm going to open this up and show you exactly what that is make sure you take that out before you start cooking you ain't supposed to eat that so be sure to get rid of that and also this is what it looks like kind of looks like the regular noodles anyway huh smells good you can smell the cheese let me see if I can get some of that light in there can you see it now okay hmm I think this is going to turn out pretty good I'm get them poured in there oh and I see the cheese powder and everything looks very cheesy I got to tell you but it's telling me now that I brought that to a boil I'm stirred it up now it want me to turn off the heat and cover it so I'm gonna turn off the heat give me a top and cover it back for my uh, stir time oh look at that reminds me of that craft cheesy macaroni you get from like Meyer or something okay I see the the noodles have fluffed up a bit and get them from the corners here we be here we go for the final check Ooh, look at that that's that macaroni sound 
Let me get it closer to you guys. Nice and hot. You can see the steam if you can on camera. Okay, I gotta be honest here. It's uh looking a little dry, but uh I follow the directions to the T. So uh I don't know y'all. I liked how it looked at first when uh I did that first initial stir, but it is looking kind of dry though. So I'm gonna get a little bow and let's give it a little taste so I can uh Mm. Oh, it's all right. I wouldn't have guessed that was freeze dried, but let me tell you like this: um, I'm a person of a particular uh, person. That's just, that's all I'ma say. And uh, this could use a bit more seasoning. <laughs> it could use some pepper. It could use a little bit of salt. The cheese is on point. I ain't gonna lie, the cheese is on point. But, um, yeah, it could use a little seasoning. But you know what? This is survival food. This is from an emergency kit. You know, like a MRE or such. But, um, Ready Wise has other different flavors you guys can try. In times like this where these hurricanes are going on, it's important to get something like this. Freeze dried, waterproof, add water. You can have you a meal. But, um, yeah, check that out. Okay, now here's a proper plating. I couldn't just leave y'all with me eating it out of a cup. And also, like I said, um, I'm a person of a particular people. And, uh, we like season. So, what I had to do is add some butter. I added about a tablespoon of butter. And I added a little more water. Because per their instructions, the mac and cheese was a bit dried out for my taste but considering that it's emergency food it it was it was good enough so let me go here and give this a taste now okay as you can see it's a lot more creamier let me see if we can get that on screen for you can you guys see that one day I'll get a better camera okay and the green is just saying some parsley flakes just for it to look good. I also had to add some salt. I added about a, a half a teaspoon of salt. It didn't require much more. I added a tablespoon of butter and then added about a half a cup of water. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Now it does have an aftertaste because I mean it is freeze dried. But if you put this next to other items on a plate, like some chicken, some greens, a steak, mashed potatoes or something, you wouldn't be able to tell it's a freeze dry. It's not so bad. Look at that. See how much more creamier? Butter goes a long way. Okay, folks. So that's that. Much love to you all. Take care. Peace.